really enjoyed this. I, there's just such an atmospheric sort of look to it, and it's just um, a very interesting. I mean, the Victoriana thing is all the rage at the moment. Had you both read the book that w- the the series was based on? I hadn't prior to the email coming through for the audition, um, but I did. I absolutely ate it up once I started reading the book. I completely th- flew through it. It's a fantastic read with such pace to it. I think that it's sometimes hard to find in a um, Victorian sentence with books, and especially when they're modern books, but the characters were also well-rounded and well-developed, and I felt like the story had such, obviously, such danger to it and such pace that um, I absolutely fell in love with it straight away. Yeah, and Fred, you were, well, well... No, like, likewise, I hadn't um, read the book before, and then when I was off the job, I, I read it up and... Read it very, very. Read it up. I read, read it, it up. up. <laughs> I read it very quickly. Read it up. Watch it off. Like. Read it up. Um, what? <laughs> I was going to say something really articulate. Oh gosh. Think, oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> what can you? Um, it right. Is, uh, it's popping that's off. Straight face. <laughs> Hang on. Straight <laughs> face. Um, what can you both tell me about each character? Let's start with you. Um, my I play a character called Bluebell, um, who predominantly works out of the Dolphin Bar. Mm-hmm. She has a very strong relationship with the madam that runs the bar. And Bluebell, it's quite an interesting character because she sort of slinks um, in and out of a lot of the men's life yeah. um, in the story. And she's quite a strong-headed, quite worldly, I would say mature and a real observer. In the story, I think that she has a natural keen eye on danger and when people aren't telling the truth about who they really are. Mm. She particularly picks a bone with Silas. And she's right, she's doing it for the right reasons and I think it's very impressive how how forward and how much she's poking at him because for a woman of her stature at that time to do that, it shows that she cares a lot Mm. um, and she is quite capable of standing up for herself. So she was a very, very fun character to play. It's not something that I've ever played before and I completely I enjoyed it. Would you I smashed say it. She, yeah. oh, would, you, you. <laughs> would you say she's a some somewhat of a feminist icon? I would say, yeah. I would hundred percent say that. I think that when we meet her, especially in the markets with Iris and her twin sister, yeah. She has this like walk and this strut and this way about the markets and she is quite confident in her own skin and her own body and it's nearly like even though she as a sex worker you know she has this like star quality about her and she owns that but at the same time she's quite childlike when we see her interacting with the madam and we see her around the men but she's quite good at moving her personality sort of shape shifting around to serve each person. Um, but yeah, she's definitely a gears girl. So yeah, I, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bluebell says thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Freddie, what, what can you tell us about um, Gideon uh, and the kind of man he is, really? Yeah, uh, Gideon's not a feminist icon. I think it's prob- <laughs> probably fair to say, um, unlike Bluebell. Uh, so he's a, st- a surgery student at University College London. Mm and is very much a product of his time. He believes in the sort of set social order and the class you're born into is the class you deserve to be born into and that's where you stay. And so he meets Silas as he's sort of exploring and uh, he's he's sort of following his fascination with surgery and study of the human anatomy. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we share. And immediately there's a kind of magnetism that draws them together. Uh, And he sort of Uh, judges the book by its cover. Silas is a very talented person. He's a very kind of brilliant surgeon. So they they sort of are thrown together. And then when Gideon realizes that all is not as it seems, he reveals his true colors. Mm-hmm. How much? How much did you each know about that that er- era? That kind of like that there was like a revolution in both science mm-hmm. and art. How much were you aware of that kind of era around that time? And what and and sort of what was happening around? For example, medicine mm. and uh, you know any other kind of mm. um, art. I think I thought I knew loads because I, that sort of, like you say, that Victoriana is so in at the moment, and we we're so sort of inundated with imagery from that era. But it was actually, I think, reading Elizabeth's book, which is so heavily researched and so sort of meticulous in its detail, that I went, "That can't be. Is that true? Is that sort of was it in 1850 that?" Um, Joseph Lister was working and, you know, 
coming up with um, anaesthetic and all of this sort of kind of thing. Um, so it was do actually wor working on this that sort of opened my eyes to it. I would say exactly the same. I think I was quite ignorant going in. Um, I definitely was under the impression that they were a lot less resourceful than what they were during this period. And I think that was all sort of brought to my attention through especially working with the hair and the makeup department on this job, you know, getting ready in the morning when they were able to talk you through step by step how your gear would have even got ready at that time and heating up metal bars to curl your hairs mm -hmm. and things like that. I didn't expect though that's sort of innovation even there in the beauty world. I know that's not like science what you're talking about, but that even amazed me to that point. So yeah, it was a, it was especially interesting to look through it at that lens and it was such a phenomenon. Everything was sort of going on. I, just, I think the look of it is absolutely gorgeous. We were completely taken in by the uh, aesthetic of the era. I mean, d how much did you love those clothes? Oh my God, I love the clothes. I thought all the men's costumes as well were so beautiful and so detailed. And my costume particularly, I absolutely loved. I loved the sort of flamboyantness and the feather in her hair. It nearly felt like a flag, like I'm here if you're looking for me. Um, so I was a huge fan of the, the costumes were incredible. I mean, a nightmare after lunch, but <laughs> beautiful to look at nonetheless, I know. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? I feel like they do a lot of the work for you. Mm, and yes. also, you know, not just the costumes, but the whole production design, the yeah. kind of, every and the cinematography, it's so lavish, and it kind of draws you into the screen. It, it does feel like reading one of those novels from that time. It's kind of so rich, and you could pause any frame and find sort of three or four things to get totally lost in. It's kind yeah. of very painterly, very, um, like you use the word atmospheric, I think it does, it kind of has a real feeling to it, an atmosphere. I suppose it's really hard to know what it's going to look like when you're inside it and you're filming it. And uh, I just thought it was absolutely, the pace of it is also absolutely perfect. Right. You know, sometimes it's a bit too dense. So was that, was were you ever wary about the way it was going to look and how? I was actually blown away when I was on set. I think that this job particularly it's one of those ones where you walk in and you're just audibly like, oh my God, as soon as I walked into the set, the first set I seen was Louis' studio and just the renaissance of all those paintings on the wall, the texturedness, all the materials, it just felt so full and messy and, I mean, I've said this already before, and then the alchemy of Silas's shop as well, it really felt like you could like in the darkness of how they shot it with light, it felt like any character could sort of like sink back into the background and mm -hmm. pop back out again at any moment. It was just so beautifully done. I think the art department has just done such an incredible job. Mm. And the cinematographers as well. I remember walking yeah. onto set the first day and being like, it is so dark. It, is, it was so in the pub. Dark. We were in filming in the Dolphin. I was like, it's so dark in here. There's literally one candle <laughs> lighting it, both Aina and me. And I was like, mm. poor makeup artists. Okay. Yeah, I was like, okay. <laughs> Um, and then I caught a glimpse of the monitor and saw the front, and it does look like a Rembrandt. You know, yeah, there's one yeah, single yeah. light source that fills the whole room, and they've wow. just made it's really, really clever. And you could feel that that scene that I have with George when I'm sh when Bluebell's getting painted by Louis. I did genuinely feel like I was walking out of a painting. You know, I'd seen the monitor beforehand and the lighting and lying on the chaise long. It just felt so magical then to sort of move out of the scene. Mm -hmm. It's just beautiful. Finally, just one last question. I've asked this question to the other two. I'm going to ask, what was about one thing about each other's characters that you loved? So, if, for example, what was about Gideon's that character that you loved or didn't like, <laughs> and vice versa? I loved your curiosity when you're when um, I'm speaking about Silas and the pub, and. I loved your wee pocket watch. Thanks. <laughs> well done for going for the positives. Yeah. It's not an easy guy to find the positives well, yeah. with. You know, you can say negative as well. And I posi love positive is always better. Working with Freddie. Okay, good, good. I right. love working with Sasha. <laughs> and uh, I would say, I was going to say she sort of gives as good as she gets, but the truth is she sort of gives better than she gets. Oh, you know, she goes nice. through a hell of a lot and she sort of, her strength, I'm going to yeah. just Brilliant. say. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations on such a, a fantastic series. We really oh, loved it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey you guys.